Hey guys, I'm Tal. And I'm Dress. This is Tal Dress Gaming. Today we are playing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Um, so in the last episode we got the harp, and then we were told to go back to the academy to learn more about the song. Uh, but just before we started recording, uh, this guy here stopped us because he needed some musical help, I guess. This could be a problem because I cannot carry a tune. There we go. Uh, beautiful tones with animals, uh, blah, 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 blah. What can we do? We have a harp. We have a harp. We can play the harp. Boing! <laughs> One of the talking statues of the ancient textbook of. There is no mistaking it. Boing. Right. Oh, it gave me a skull. Where did awesome. I skull? Thanks, guy. Can I talk to you? Uh, butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. Um, Swarm of butterfly playing. Play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop up out of the ground. And I'm guessing they'll give me like skulls and little treasures and stuff. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ah, I scared him. Back to the sky. Nope, that's not what we want. Yes. Time to fly. Just it literally on. just launches out in the sky. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Pippet, what's going on, man? <laughs> Great. Helpful? Bath. Ooh. Zelda. Structure Horwell. Horwell? Yeah. He's, he's got brown hair again. You just can't decide. Great. Play the song for him. No, I gotta. It's got. It's the headmaster. I thought maybe it was him, but no, it's the headmaster. Oh, Alan. I don't remember. No. Nope. Oh, there's two of them. Aha! It's two different guys. It's not that his hair changes, it's two different guys. Oh, this guy has his eyes open. Huh? The, one, the other one didn't have his eyes open. Thank oh, you for that's... the information. Well, now we know that we're not, the game's not crazy and broken, it's just that it's, they just decided to be annoying. Yes. Headmaster. There you are, friend. Hello, sir. Good to see you're still in one piece. How's it going down there? Any closer to finding Zelda? My daughter was taken off into a different time zone? What? Things must be terribly trying for her down there. Can't be easy now for you either. What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang? I'm not much of a singer. Just, just the lyrics. Sing it! I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you, but if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Oh, youth. Oh, why are you typing so slow? Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know a thing about the whirling sails, though. Someone shows the whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. How do you go about doing that? Two whirling sails. Okay. <laughs> Where's the door? There's the door. Uh, where's the door? I gotta get out. Thing here. Mm. Ding. Alright. <clears throat> so the other one is over this way. You can see it. Oh, Fledge. What's going on, man? Thanks for the stamina potion. Stamina potion. Hmm? Uh, I'll be as tough as you in no time. Glad I could help, bro. Oh. oh. What's up, Link? Curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart to sat into blah, blah, blah. You can turn the windmill so you can catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, but there, well, there used, used to be this. this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it. Uh, the thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge beneath the clouds. Great. Uh, the, windmill, the windmill's been use, uselessly sitting there ever since. Uh, suggest uh, blah, blah, blah. Great. I had that idea, too. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? <gasps> no, he reminds me of who? The guy in um, Breath of the Wild. Which one? The guy who fixes your house. Mm, okay, I guess I could see it. Kind of. I mean, that guy's a bald guy, but. Yeah, this guy's really kind of flaming. <laughs> How could you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on, come to think of it, uh... Gondu has a small flying robot to haul j junk back from the, uh... Beneath the clouds? Beneath the clouds, yeah. Words. Um, blah, 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 blah. That's a tale passed down over years. Great, let's go talk to that guy. Even though I can more than, li more than likely just go down and get it myself, I'm guessing I need the robot to do it. Hmm. What's up? Hey. Got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with? Oh, he just came here to make fun of the crazy old junk guy. Heard it before. <clears throat> Wait, that's not why you're here? You need it to pick something up from below the clouds? That means you believe my grandpa's stories too, don't you? I'm happy to hear someone else believe me, but I don't think I can help you. What's it called again? That's right, I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not look like much these days. He's an amazing robot once. He's just another busted old hunk of junk. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. Can we have one? Mm-hmm. We should. Mm hmm Take mine. Take mine. Ooh. What? You have one? If we didn't have one, we'd have to go back down and find one. <laughs> Thank God. I'll be up and running in no time. Excellent. Ooh. I like how its color changed. Thank you, I got a full tank of energy. I'm ready to carry anything. <laughs> Green clad individual of small stature. 
This kid gave me those materials I needed to say thank you. Are you sure it was him? <laughs> well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to the gesture of obligatory, obligatory gratitude. gratitude. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. This kid wants you to haul some stuff around. You're going to help him. I am not inclined to offer assistance. <laughs> Serving children is very low on my task priority. <laughs> Mr. Link. Great. You will not be able to possible to carry the item in your pouch and return it to the sky. Who are you? Your name is Fi Fi. I never know what it is if it's Fi or Fi. <sighs> so much talking. We now have the message to bring the propeller. Blah blah blah. blah. Wind propeller. Excellent. Master Short Pants. <laughs> Ask Mr. Spee. Fi. Great. Excellent. You always ask the fortune teller. When it comes to finding things, he's right on the money. Yeah, we would do that, but I don't want to. So... Screw that. <laughs> He's I'm, creepy. Because I'm pretty sure we can just use our new awesome dowsing ability. Because look at that. It's not in the green. And if we go over here. Oh, it's pointing that way. By the red one. Into Fire Mountain. Fire Mountain. Yay. Too far. <laughs> that was beautiful. What, how back and forth I was going? Oh, yeah. Thanks, I'm glad you thought so. Get over the hole. There you go. Nah. <laughs> Yay, fire. Fire Mountain. Charlie. Confirm your destination by pressing A. Mmm. Exactly, we want to go. We'll figure it out. I mean, I remember where the thing is. I just don't remember where, which save we need to go to in order to get to it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which save you go to. You can get there anyway. The hell is that? What? Thrill digger? Oh, uh, probably a mini game. Probably. There's a big old question mark up there. That's for a different area. That's like a doorway to a different area. Mm. Remember we tried to go in there and it was all fire and it was mm. like, you're gonna die if you go in there. Um, well, I guess I'll just use the dowsing ability because I don't really remember. So it's not in this area. Great. Even have to press down. No. Mm -mm. He just jumped off on his own. Danger. <laughs> oh. Well. Shit. 
he tried dowsing again? I'm guessing the temple one might have been the one to go to then. Maybe the air fire area is all better now. I think it's here, to be honest. God damn it. Ugh! Yeah, wasn't there like a little propeller thing somewhere up there? You remember? Mm hmm. Okay, let's get it right this time. Third time's the charm. There's only three options. Yeah, I know. That's why it's the charm. Send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. <laughs> Hope you weren't waiting long. You want me to carry this? You're in my way. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Well. <laughs> I suggest we return to the sky. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is that a wind thing up there? No. Else. That's something else. Fooey. God, he's flying with us. Mm -hmm. Yay! Just drops it. Feel free to call. He likes feet. Just wait a second. Is that? This is the windmill propeller. Are you saying the story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Somehow I get the feeling that this is all I were prank, but I guess I'll try to fix it. <laughs> just crank a few clicks. And just hit it with a hammer. Perfect. Hey! Honey, honey! Oh no! I might have promised my wife that I'd fix our cupboard. <laughs> See you around. How did our cupboard break? I don't know. Hmm? Let's not blow it up.
Ding. Fries are done. Ooh. Whoa. What the do? That looks important. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. Well, that's where we need to go next, and we'll be doing that in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it was all just weird. <laughs> Not very eventful. All we did was get that little windmill thing. But uh, nevertheless, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.